Tacos and some enchiladas. Who knows, you know, they say don't eat this food, don't eat that. Well, maybe those foods are good for you. It's, it's, it's one package, man. I'm not giving you my cookie. <laughs> From hearty stews to sweet treats, the culinary preferences of U.S. presidents offer us a unique glimpse into their personalities and the times they lived in. Each leader had their favorite dishes that reflected their taste and backgrounds. Join us as we look at every U.S. president's favorite food throughout history. By the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president, served from 1861 to 1865. He's remembered for leading the country during the Civil War and removing slavery. So, what were the go-to snacks of this revolutionary? He believed apples were the perfect health food. Bacon was another favorite, a salty reminder of his frontier upbringing. On special occasions, Lincoln enjoyed oysters. This was a luxury he served even at his second inaugural ball. A meal that was close to Lincoln's heart and he cherished was gingerbread made by his mother. His food choices reflected the grounded, no-frills nature of the man behind the iconic stovepipe hat. Ever wondered what fueled the first U.S. president through the Revolutionary War? Let's take a bite out of George Washington's favorite meals. It is done. God bless George Washington, President of the United States! As the first U.S. president, George Washington was known for his leadership in the Revolutionary War. He served as president from 1789 to 1798. His love for simple hearty meals was just as iconic. Hoe cakes and cornmeal pancakes served with butter and honey were his favorite breakfast, keeping him fueled for the day. Washington also enjoyed cream of peanut soup, a rich and comforting dish from his Virginia roots. Another one of his favorite foods was freshly caught fish, broiled to perfection. These straightforward dishes reflected the practicality and simplicity that defined his leadership and style. But do you know that George is also known to crack nuts with his teeth while speaking, which later on contributed to his dental problems? Well, someone on this list brought a European twist to American food. Let's explore the elegant and flavorful dishes that delighted our third president. Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> yes, I went through a number of variations. This is by far the most successful. Simplest is always the best. Thomas Jefferson, author of the Declaration of Independence and lover of fine cuisine, served from 1801 to 1809. He brought a taste of Europe to the U.S. during his presidency. He famously introduced macaroni and cheese to the White House, a dish he enjoyed after his time in France. Vanilla ice cream was his favorite, often served at formal dinners. Jefferson's love for French food, including wines and elegant sauces, reflected his sophisticated palate and desire to bring cultural richness to America. His food choices were as forward-thinking as his political vision. Ready for some hearty meals that match a bold personality? Let's dig into the robust and flavorful dishes favored by Theodore Roosevelt. I have just been shot, but it takes more than that to kill a bull moose. Roosevelt then spoke for 90 minutes. Theodore Roosevelt served the country from 1901 to 1909. He was known for his rough and tumble persona and energetic leadership. He needed meals as hearty as his spirit. Roosevelt loved steak, a dish symbolizing strength and endurance, which he often ate in large portions. Covered in gravy, fried chicken was his absolute favorite and served as a perfect way to fuel his active days. Coffee? Well, he drank it in huge amounts, keeping him going from sunrise to sunset. Roosevelt's food choices were bold and straightforward, much like his approach to politics and life. What do you think fulfilled the controversial President Kennedy's appetite? Our citizens of Berlin, and therefore, as a free man, I take pride in the words. John F. Kennedy, who served as president from 1961 to 1963, is remembered for his charisma and leadership during the Cold War. His taste for classic comforting meals mirrored his polished yet approachable image. Kennedy often enjoyed New England fish chowder and ice cream with hot fudge. These meals reminded him of home. French onion soup was another favorite meal of John's, and it was influenced by his time in Europe. For a simpler meal, he preferred broiled chicken with vegetables. Like his presidency, his food choices reflected a perfect balance between sophistication and simplicity. 
What snack kept Ronald Reagan smiling through his Hollywood years and presidency? You might be surprised by the sweetness behind his iconic choices. Yes, more volunteers, more civilians, more teachers in space. Nothing ends here. Our hopes and our journeys continue. Ronald Reagan is remembered for his charm and strong leadership in ending the Cold War from 1981 to 1989. Reagan was known for his sweet tooth, with jelly beans being his go-to snack. It's cute and funny that Ronald Reagan kept jelly beans in the Oval Office. Beyond sweets, Reagan loved classic American comfort food, especially macaroni and cheese, which brought him back to his childhood. And here's a fun fact, he loved hamburgers, which he often enjoyed at California Ranch. Reagan's food choices were just like his laid-back, approachable persona. Curious about the Southern comfort food that powered Bill Clinton during his busy years in office? Let's see his flavorful favorites. And contempt, cloaked in the pretense of religious or political convictions, are no different. Bill Clinton served as President of the United States from 1993 to 2001. He's remembered for his charismatic leadership and economic growth during the 1990s. His favorite foods were rooted in his southern upbringing. Clinton loved chicken enchiladas, especially when covered in cheesy, spicy sauce. Barbecue, particularly ribs and pulled pork, was another go-to dish he enjoyed during travels. And guess what were his guilty pleasures? Fast food cheeseburgers loaded with jalapenos that could be grabbed on the go. Clinton's food choices were all about bold flavors and the comfort of familiar meals. But here's a twist. Bill Clinton loved fast food, particularly McDonald's, but became a vegan after his heart surgeries. Time to unravel what kept Barack Obama energized during his presidency. His favorite meals might just surprise you. One of my favorite meals of all time. There's an area between Jakarta and Bandung, another city in Indonesia, called Puncha. Barack Obama served the country for eight years from 2009 to 2017. He's remembered for the Affordable Care Act and his steady leadership through economic challenges. But unlike the troubled times he navigated during his presidency, his food preferences balance comfort and health. Obama loves making chili, often using ground turkey and a mix of spices for a hearty yet healthy dish. That's a tasty cookie right there. there. Yeah. I think we're going to have to get one of those. <laughs> All right, so we got... Would you like yours original or wheat bread? I'll get the wheat bread. He also loves Chicago-style deep dish pizza, which is his hometown's classic. But he does not eat heavy meals all day. Obama also has a surprising fondness for broccoli due to his commitment to healthy eating. His food choices perfectly reflect his mix of health consciousness and family traditions. And here's an interesting fact about Obama. He loved Fran's smoked salt caramels, which is a blend of salty and sweet flavors. We've seen the food choices of many Southern lovers by now, but wonder what a true Southern man prefers on his plate? Let's dig into the rustic meals that powered Andrew Jackson. And put them in the local banks. Well, there'll be a panic. A bank monopoly will not threaten this government devil take it. Not while I'm president. Andrew Jackson led the nation from 1829 to 1837 and made his mark by founding the Democratic Party and leading with a fierce independent spirit. Jackson's favorite foods reflected his southern roots and frontier upbringing. He was fond of leather britches, a dish made from dried green beans and bacon, and cornbread was another staple at Jackson's table, often served with buttermilk. Now here's the cute part. He enjoyed hickory nut cake for dessert, a treat made with local hickory nuts. It's also said that Andrew Jackson served a 1,400-pound wheel of cheddar at his inaugural ball. Jackson's food choices were simple, hearty, and perfectly matched his rugged, no-nonsense personality. Always in the news nowadays, highlighting many controversies, but what keeps Donald Trump energized all day for facing this? Now, what's your favorite thing here, Mr. President? I like it all. I like it all. It's all good stuff. Do you prefer great, great American food? Donald Trump served from 2017 to 2021, and he's popular for his unconventional approach to leadership, strong opinions on trade, and funny memes that go viral occasionally. Pull up at a McDonald's. What is what did Donald Trump order? Uh, fish and light sometimes. Right? <laughs> uh, the uh, the Big Macs are great. The quarter pounder with cheese. I mean, I... but are Trump's food choices as bold as his persona? Well, let's just say he's a fan of McDonald's fast food 
particularly burgers and fries, which are simple to eat and have a consistent flavor. He can easily grab a bite during his busy schedule. It's not like he only eats fast food. Trump also enjoys steak, which is always well done and served with ketchup because he's all about eating simple, no-fuss meals. But it feels so right. Then it's a deal? Yes, we eat our pizza the wrong way. Crust first. Like a regular American, Trump also drinks large amounts of Diet Coke during meetings and long work days. Due to his fast-paced, hassle-filled lifestyle, his food preferences are quick and simple. And I'm the one who will not raise taxes. My opponent now says he'll raise them as a last resort or a third resort. George H.W. Bush was the president of the U.S. from 1989 to 1993. He's remembered for leading the country through the Gulf War and his diplomatic efforts. Bush had a few unique food preferences, with pork rinds being one of his all-time favorites, especially when paired with Tabasco sauce. He was also known for publicly disliking broccoli, making headlines when he famously banned it from Air Force One. Mexican food, particularly chicken enchiladas, was another go-to dish for Bush, reflecting his Texas roots. His food choices showcased a mix of bold flavors and simple approachable meals. James Monroe's favorite meals had a touch of European flair. Let's see how his time abroad shaped his palate. James Monroe served as president from 1817 to 1825 and is remembered for the Monroe Doctrine and his diplomatic efforts. Monroe's food preferences reflected both his Virginia roots and his time spent in France. He loved oysters, often served fresh or in stews, which were a staple in Virginia cuisine. He liked chicken cooked in various ways, showcasing his preference for hearty yet simple meals. Monroe also enjoyed French wine, a taste he developed while abroad. His food choices reflected a balance between American tradition and European elegance. What do you think James Madison snacked on while shaping the Constitution? His favorite treats might surprise you. James Madison was a president from 1809 to 1817. He's remembered as the father of the Constitution and for leading the country through the War of 1812. Madison had a well-known sweet tooth, and ice cream was one of his favorite indulgences. Want to know why? Well, it's due to the lovely fact that his wife, Dolly Madison, made ice cream as a regular treat at the White House. Madison also loved Virginia ham, a nod to his southern heritage. Apple pie was a classic American dessert that he frequently enjoyed, and his food choices reflected a love for both sweet treats and southern comfort food. Next on this list is someone with a very bold and energized appetite. Lyndon B. Johnson was a lover of southern dishes like no other man. To seek an honorable peace and stands ready tonight to defend an honored cause, whatever the price. His presidency lasted from 1963 to 1969, in which he earned the public's love with his Great Society programs and his push for civil rights. Johnson had a deep love for Texas-style chili, a dish he often made himself. His personal recipe was known for its bold flavors and spiciness. His love for barbecued ribs reflected his Texas roots and love for smoky, juicy meals. And I will not accept the nomination of my party for another term as your president. So, here is something not many people know about Lyndon. He preferred large portions of southern dishes like black-eyed peas and tapioca pudding. The pudding offered a simple, comforting end to his meals. His food choices reflected his Texas upbringing and preference for bold, satisfying dishes. So, what did a founding father enjoy most at his dinner table? The United States of America have appointed me Minister Plenipotentiary to Your Majesty. John Adams served as President of the U.S. from 1797 to 1801. He's remembered for his role in the American Revolution and as one of the nation's founding fathers. Adams had simple tastes favoring green peas, which were often served fresh and lightly seasoned. Remember, these were not the times of fast foods and drive through so people enjoyed simple, healthy meals. Just like that, Adams enjoyed hard cider, which was commonly consumed with meals in colonial America. He also loved Indian pudding, a traditional dish made with cornmeal and molasses. Adams' food choices reflected the practical and simple meals of his time, much like his approach to leadership. You might be curious to know what fueled James K. Polk 
during the expansion of U.S. territory. James K. Polk's presidency lasted from 1845 to 1849. He's remembered for overseeing the expansion of U.S. territory during the Mexican-American War. And like many other presidents on our list, Polk's favorite foods were rooted in Southern tradition. Cornbread was a common item on his table, often served alongside ham, which he liked a lot. Polk also enjoyed root vegetables, such as potatoes and turnips, which complemented his hearty meals. His food preferences reflected the agricultural lifestyle of the South and his connection to the simple filling meals that define the region's cuisine. Let's hear about the famous sweet treat that Ulysses S. Grant enjoyed after his victories. By outward appearance, you're 10 years older than you were a year ago. President from 1869 to 1877, Ulysses S. Grant is remembered for leading the Union to victory during the Civil War. Grant had a soft spot for rice pudding, a simple dessert that sweetened even his toughest days. Another one of his favorites was cucumber salad, which was served as a refreshing side dish that often accompanied his meals. And here's an interesting food combo that Grant is known to enjoy. A cup of black coffee, followed by a cucumber soaked in vinegar. Yeah, it's actually quite interesting and odd at the same time, but the man loved what he loved. Steak was also a regular part of his breakfast diet, usually served with fried apples. Grant's food choices were practical yet comforting, reflecting his straightforward personality. But what gave comfort to Woodrow Wilson during World War I? This president served from 1913 to 1921 and is mainly remembered for leading the country through World War I and his efforts to establish the League of Nations. Wilson's favorite foods were simple yet satisfying. He enjoyed chicken salad for lunch as it offered him a light comforting meal. Virginia ham was another one of his favorites and was part of his southern roots. For dessert, Wilson loved strawberry ice cream, which was frequently served during White House dinners. His food choices were all about his appreciation for life's simple pleasures, even during challenging times. Now we have George Bush, the man who was all about classic American dishes. But they have failed. Our country is strong. A great people has been moved to defend a great nation. George W. Bush was elected the 43rd president of the U.S. in 2001 and is remembered for his leadership during the 9-11 attacks and the War on Terror. Bush served as president until 2009. His favorite foods were rooted in his Texas upbringing. He loved cheeseburgers, a classic American meal that he often enjoyed during his downtime. He was fond of Tex-Mex dishes, particularly chicken enchiladas, reflecting the bold, flavorful cuisine of his home state. But here are some secret comfort foods from the Bush that you would love too. Bush was fond of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, a simple snack that comforted him. He also enjoyed cheeseburger pizzas, a fusion of cheeseburgers and pizza. To sum it up, his food choices reflected his love for familiar, satisfying meals. What did Harry S. Truman snack on during his time in office? We have spent more than $2 billion on the greatest scientific gamble in history, and we have won. Harry S. Truman, president from 1945 to 1953, is remembered for leading the country during the final stages of World War II and the early years of the Cold War. Truman had simple Midwestern tastes. He loved fried chicken, which was often prepared by his wife, Bess. Truman had a strong love for buttermilk, which he drank regularly, reflecting his humble roots. For dessert, chocolate cake was a frequent choice, and he often ate it after his meals. And the list goes on as Harry Truman also liked well-done steaks, chicken and dumplings, and his mother's custard pie. It seems like Truman was a die-hard foodie. Have you ever wondered what kept Grover Cleveland's appetite satisfied during his long presidency? Let's take a look at his hearty favorites. Grover Cleveland, the only U.S. president to serve two non-consecutive terms, 1885 to 1889 and 1893 to 1897, is remembered for his commitment to political reform. Cleveland had a hearty appetite, enjoying meals that reflected his working class roots. He was particularly fond of corned beef and cabbage, a traditional dish that satisfied his need for comfort food. He enjoyed pickles as a snack. Cleveland had a taste for beer, a common beverage during his time. His food choices reflected the practicality and simplicity 
that defined both his leadership and his personal life. What did William McKinley eat during the Spanish-American War? Let's explore the meals that kept him going. It is summertime in the year 1896, and William McKinley is campaigning for the presidency of the United States, which now has 45 stars in its plan. President from 1897 to 1901, William McKinley is remembered for leading the nation through the Spanish-American War and promoting economic growth. McKinley's favorite foods were simple yet satisfying. He loved steak, often served with minimal seasoning to highlight the natural flavors of the meat. Coffee was another staple in McKinley's diet, and he drank coffee regularly throughout the day. But here's a luxurious twist, or might we say treat, he loved on his table. Hot lobster salad, which he often enjoyed on special occasions. His food choices were usually simple like ours, but did not lack indulgence, reflecting both his hard-working nature and his taste for the finer things. Now let's shed some light on the meals that James Buchanan enjoyed during his time in office. James Buchanan served as president for four years, from 1857 to 1861. He's remembered for his inability to prevent the country from sliding towards civil war. Buchanan had a refined palate, enjoying rich and flavorful meals. He loved French cuisine, which reflected his diplomatic experiences abroad. Cabbage prepared in stews or soups was a frequent part of his meals. Buchanan also enjoyed wild games such as venison, which was often served at White House dinners. His food preferences reflected his taste for indulgent, luxurious meals that contrasted with the tense political atmosphere of his presidency. Now let's see what Gerald Ford, known for his steady hand in turbulent times, enjoyed at his dinner table. And my dedicated staff impart to me. And with the goodwill of countless Americans, I have encountered in recent visits to 40 states. Gerald Ford was a president from 1974 to 1977 for only three years and is remembered for restoring trust in the presidency after the Watergate scandal. Ford's favorite foods reflected his Midwestern roots and love for simple, comforting meals. He enjoyed spaghetti with meat sauce, a classic dish that he often shared with his family. He liked waffles, frequently served at breakfast in the White House. A traditional American meal, pot roast, was a go-to dish for Ford, providing both warmth and comfort during his busy days. His food choices reflected his connection to family and the practical down-to-earth meals of his upbringing. What kind of meals kept Herbert Hoover going during the Great Depression? Let's uncover his favorite hearty dishes. Our party can truly feel that we have held the faith. That we shall do in the, so in the future is our solemn responsibility of this hour. Herbert Hoover was president from 1929 to 1933 and is remembered for leading the nation during the early years of the Great Depression. Hoover's food preferences were simple and hearty. He loved sweet potatoes, often served with marshmallows, a dish that offered both nourishment and comfort. Steak was another favorite, providing a hearty filling meal during difficult times. Hoover also had a taste for crab, showcasing his appreciation for coastal cuisine. His food choices reflected his need for practical comforting meals during one of the toughest periods in American history. What kind of meals did John Quincy Adams enjoy as a former diplomat turned president? Let's explore his refined tastes. And it's called the Executive Review. And I'm sure you all read it. At least I'm sure the president hopes you all read it. John Quincy Adams served his country from 1825 to 1829 and is remembered for his foreign policy expertise and his long career in public service. Adams had a taste for refined cuisine, influenced by his time as a diplomat in Europe. He loved fresh fruit, particularly apples, which he often enjoyed as a snack. French cuisine was another favorite, with turtle soup being a luxurious dish he frequently enjoyed. Adams' food preferences reflected his refined taste and his connection to European traditions, while still maintaining an appreciation for fresh, simple flavors. Curious about Calvin Coolidge's love for traditional American meals? Let's dig into his favorite dishes. The country needs every ounce of its energy to restore itself. The costs of government are all assessed upon the people. Calvin Coolidge served his nation from 1923 to 1929. He's remembered for his quiet leadership style and his focus on small government. Coolidge enjoyed traditional American meals that reflected his New England roots. 
roast pork with gravy was one of his favorite dishes, offering him a hearty, satisfying meal. Baked beans, another New England classic, were often served at family dinners. For dessert, Coolidge loved apple pie, a staple of American cuisine. His food choices reflected his appreciation for simple, home-cooked meals that brought comfort and familiarity during his presidency. What hearty meals did Warren G. Harding enjoy during his time in office? Let's take a closer look. In 1923, President Warren G. Harding and First Lady Florence are on their way to Alaska. Warren G. Harding was president for two years and served until 1923. He's often remembered for his efforts to return the country to normalcy after World War I. Harding's favorite foods were hearty and straightforward, much like his approach to leadership. Chicken pot pie was one of his go-to meals, offering warmth and comfort. Waffles were also a favorite breakfast choice, often served with butter and syrup. Harding also enjoyed scrambled eggs, which frequently appeared on his breakfast menu. His food choices reflected a love for simple traditional meals that provided sustenance and satisfaction during his time in office. But here's a rather unique fact about Harding. He hosted men-only dinners with sauerkraut and knockwurst. Does this sound like a meal you would want to try? Let's also explore the rustic dishes James A. Garfield enjoyed during his brief time in office. James A. Garfield, who served as president for just 200 days in 1881 before being assassinated, is remembered for his efforts to reform civil service. Despite a short time in office, Garfield's love for rustic hearty meals was well known. He enjoyed squirrel stew, a dish that reflected his rural Ohio upbringing. Wild game such as venison or quail was also frequently served at his table. Hominy, made from dried corn, was often eaten as a side dish by Garfield. His food preferences reflected his connection to the simple meals of 19th century America. What did Martin Van Buren, the little magician, enjoy during his time as president? Let's dive into his favorite meals. Senator Calhoun is being modest. He's not inferior in another area, the art of exaggeration. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Van Buren was president for four years until 1841. He is remembered for his role in shaping the Democratic Party and for facing the Panic of 1837. Van Buren had a taste for hearty traditional meals. Oysters, a popular dish at the time, were frequently served at his table. Donuts were also a sweet treat that he often indulged in. Van Buren liked boar's head, a rich and flavorful dish often served on special occasions. His food preferences were a mix of practicality and indulgence, reflecting his balance between everyday meals and formal feasts. Chester A. Arthur brought luxury to the White House, so let's see what kind of fine dining he enjoyed. President from 1881 to 1885, Chester A. Arthur is remembered for his efforts to modernize the U.S. Navy and for implementing civil service reform. Arthur had a refined palate, enjoying elegant and luxurious meals. He was particularly fond of mutton chops, a dish that reflected his sophisticated tastes. Terrapin stew made from turtle was another favorite, showcasing his appreciation for high-end cuisine. Oysters, often served at state dinners, were also a frequent indulgence. Arthur's food preferences mirrored his stylish, high-society persona, bringing a touch of elegance to the White House. Have you ever wondered what rustic meals fueled Benjamin Harrison's presidency? Let's take a look at his simple but satisfying favorites. Benjamin Harrison served the U.S. faithfully from 1889 to 1893. He's remembered for modernizing the U.S. Navy and pushing for civil rights for African Americans. Harrison's favorite meals were simple yet hearty, reflecting his Midwestern roots. Cornmeal mush, a dish made from boiled cornmeal, was a frequent breakfast choice, offering him a filling start to the day. Oysters, a staple at many state dinners, were another favorite, often served fresh. Squirrel stew, a rustic dish, was also a part of his regular diet. His food preferences reflected the practical, no-nonsense meals that matched his straightforward leadership style. Zachary Taylor's military background influenced his tastes. Let's explore the southern flavors he loved. Zachary Taylor, 
who served as president from 1849 until his death in 1850, is remembered for his long military career and his stance on slavery. Taylor's favorite foods reflected his southern roots and military background. He loved Louisiana gumbo, a flavorful stew made with seafood or meat, a staple in southern cuisine. Callus, fried rice cakes, were another favorite, often served as a snack or dessert. Wild games such as venison was frequently on Taylor's menu, showcasing his connection to the frontier lifestyle. His food choices were bold and hearty, perfectly matching his rugged persona. So what New England-inspired dishes did Franklin Pierce enjoy? Let's explore the comforting meals that fueled his presidency. President from 1853 to 1857, Franklin Pierce is remembered for signing the Kansas-Nebraska Act and his efforts to maintain peace before the Civil War. Pierce had a taste for simple, comforting New England dishes. He loved fried clams, a regional favorite that reminded him of home. Apple pie, a classic American dessert, was also a frequent indulgent of Pierce, often enjoyed with friends and family. Corn fritters, made from fried cornmeal batter, was a popular snack that he enjoyed during his time in office. His food choices reflected his love for traditional home-style cooking. Curious about Rutherford B. Hayes' favorite meals? Let's dive into his love for hearty filling dishes. Rutherford B. Hayes was president from 1877 to 1881 and is remembered for ending Reconstruction and promoting civil service reform. Hayes' favorite foods were practical and hearty. Cornmeal pudding, often served for breakfast or dessert, was his go-to food, which offered both comfort and nourishment. Venison, or quail, was frequently part of his meals, reflecting the rustic lifestyle of his era. Lemon pie, a sweet and tangy dessert, was known for adding a refreshing touch to his meals. Hayes' food preferences mirrored the simple filling meals that kept him grounded during his presidency. William Howard Taft had a famous appetite. Let's explore the rich and indulgent meals that satisfied him. You're watching history exactly as it was made, with Taft and Oliver Wendell Holmes leading Supreme Court buildings. William Howard Taft, president from 1909 to 1913, is remembered for his role as Chief Justice after his presidency and his love for indulgent meals. Taft had a large appetite and enjoyed rich, hearty dishes. Steak, often paired with potatoes, was a regular part of his meals, providing both satisfaction and sustenance. Lobster salad, a more luxurious dish, reflected his taste for fine dining. Taft's food preferences were well known, often reflecting his larger-than-life personality and his appreciation for both filling and flavorful meals. What kind of Southern comfort food did Jimmy Carter enjoy during his presidency? We can see this crisis in the growing doubt about the meaning of our own lives and in the loss of a unity of purpose for our nation. Jimmy Carter, who served as president from 1977 to 1981, is remembered for his focus on human rights and his humble background as a peanut farmer. Carter's favorite foods reflected his Southern upbringing and love for simple hearty meals. He enjoyed grits, a traditional southern dish made from ground corn, often served with butter or cheese. Cornbread was another staple in his diet, providing warmth and comfort. Country fried steak, a southern classic, was a frequent indulgence during his time in office. Carter's food choices were deeply rooted in the comforting traditional meals of the South. Dwight D. Eisenhower loved to cook his meals. Let's explore the hearty dishes that kept him satisfied. Good evening, my fellow Americans. First, I should like to express my gratitude to the radio and television networks. President from 1953 to 1961, Dwight D. Eisenhower is remembered for leading the country through the post-World War II era and promoting peace during the Cold War. Eisenhower had a passion for cooking and often made his own meals. He loved making beef stew, a hearty dish that he would prepare for himself and his guests. Vegetable soup was his go-to that provided him with warmth and comfort. For breakfast, Eisenhower enjoyed cornmeal pancakes, a simple yet filling way to start the day. His food preferences reflected his practical approach to both cooking and leadership. What kind of classic American comfort foods did Joe Biden grow up loving? Let's take a look at what keeps him going. As an ice cream lover, what makes me the most angry is that ice cream cartons have actually shrunk in size, but not in price. I've had enough of what they call shrinkflation. 
Joe Biden, who took office in 2021, is known for his empathy and focus on unity. Biden has a love for simple classic American meals. President, what'd you get? Tacos and some enchiladas. He enjoys pasta with red sauce, a dish that's easy to prepare and packed with flavor. Pizza, particularly from his hometown of Scranton, Pennsylvania, offers him both comfort and nostalgia. Biden also has a well-known sweet tooth, especially for ice cream, which he's often seen enjoying in public. His food preferences reflect his approachable, down-to-earth personality, making him relatable to many Americans. If you're anything like me, you like to be surrounded by a snack or two while watching the big game. You know, when buying snacks for the game, you might have noticed one thing. Sports drinks bottles are small. William Henry Harrison served the shortest presidency, but what did he enjoy at the dinner table? Let's explore his rustic favorites. William Henry Harrison, president for only 31 days in 1841, is remembered for his short time in office due to his sudden death. Despite his brief presidency, Harrison's favorite foods reflected his frontier lifestyle. He loved hard cider, a popular drink among rural Americans at the time. Squirrel stew, a hearty dish made from wild game that frontier families often ate, was one of his favorites. Corn cakes, made from cornmeal, were a simple but filling food that Harrison frequently enjoyed. His food choices reflected the practical meals common during the early 19th century. What kind of meals did Andrew Johnson enjoy after taking over from Lincoln? Let's explore the Southern flavors that defined his presidency. How have you held your union together? Through democracy? How many hundreds of thousands have died down your administration? Andrew Johnson, who served as president from 1865 to 1869 after the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, is remembered for leading the country through the early stages of Reconstruction. Johnson's favorite foods reflected his Southern roots. He enjoyed buttermilk, a drink that was commonly consumed with meals in the South. Potatoes, prepared in various ways, were another staple in his diet, often served alongside simple meals. Johnson also had a taste for hog jowl, a southern specialty made from the cheek of a pig, often served with beans. His food choices reflected his humble background and connection to traditional southern cuisine. John Tyler's presidency was filled with challenges, but what kept him satisfied at the dinner table? Let's dive into his rich, flavorful meals. The over most of Europe. In that regrettable instance, we must be prepared to take possession of valuable strategic territory before France can lay her hands on it. President from 1841 to 1845, John Tyler is remembered for being the first vice president to ascend to the presidency after William Henry Harrison's death. Tyler's favorite foods were rich and indulgent, reflecting his taste for hearty meals. He loved roast duck, often served with a flavorful gravy, which became a staple during his family dinners. Ham was frequently enjoyed at formal meals, and Tyler also had a sweet tooth, and chestnut cake was one of his go-to desserts, offering a rich and satisfying finish to his meals. His food preferences reflected the satisfying meals popular in his era. Millard Fillmore may be lesser known, but his food choices were simple and classic. Let's explore his favorite dishes. Millard Fillmore, who served as president from 1850 to 1853, is remembered for his efforts to preserve the Union during a time of growing tension over slavery. Fillmore enjoyed simple hearty meals that reflected the practical nature of his time. Beef stew was one of his favorite dishes, providing warmth and nourishment during long days in office. Donuts, a sweet treat that was becoming increasingly popular, were often enjoyed with coffee. Fillmore also had a taste for codfish, a common dish in many American households during the 19th century. Franklin D. Roosevelt led the nation through hard times. Let's explore the comforting dishes that sustained him. Will our whole nation remember the character of the onslaught against us? Franklin D. Roosevelt, president from 1933 to 1945, is remembered for leading the country through the Great Depression and World War II. Despite his high-pressure role, Roosevelt's favorite foods were simple and comforting. He loved grilled cheese sandwiches, often made with American cheese, which provided him a quick and satisfying meal. A date which will live in infamy. 
the United States of America. His favorite hot dogs were famously served to the King and Queen of England during their visit to the White House. For dessert, Roosevelt enjoyed fruitcakes, particularly around the holidays. His food choices reflected his preference for comforting, straightforward meals that provided warmth during difficult times. James Monroe had a taste for both American and European flavors. Let's uncover his favorite meals next. James Monroe, president from 1817 to 1825, is remembered for the Monroe Doctrine, which shaped American foreign policy for years to come. Monroe's food preferences reflected both his American roots and European experiences. He loved oysters, which were commonly served fresh or in stews during his time. Chicken, often roasted or stewed, provided him with hearty and familiar meals. Monroe indulged in French wine, a taste he developed while serving as a diplomat in France. His food choices blended rustic American traditions with the elegance of European dining, reflecting his well-traveled background. James Madison, the father of the Constitution, had a well-known sweet tooth. Let's explore his favorite desserts and more. You New England men continue to oppose our measures of reconciliation. You will leave us no choice but to break off from you entirely and carry on the opposite. James Madison, President of the United States from 1809 to 1817, is remembered for drafting the U.S. Constitution and leading the country through the War of 1812. Madison had a fondness for sweet treats, with ice cream being one of his all-time favorites. His wife, Dolly Madison, actually popularized ice cream at the White House, making it a regular treat at state dinners. Madison also enjoyed Virginia ham, a dish that connected him to his southern roots. Apple pie, a classic American dessert, was another staple on his table. Madison's food preferences reflected a love for both sweet indulgences and traditional southern flavors.